Now we're going to take a look at the most basic butterfly guard sweep, the one where you overhook the arm and you launch them over. I teach this a little bit differently. There's a, a really important concept, a really important thing that you need to watch in this video that will up your percentage on the sweep great. Just like before, I'm going to have my inside control and I'm going to move my hip down. Now I really like bulldozer. I like coming up on top, but you can see he's controlling that leg. All right. It would make it difficult for me to maintain an under grip right here, so that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by controlling over top of this arm. It doesn't matter how hard you pull it in. A lot of people get caught up on really dominating this arm first. We're going to dominate the arm in a different fashion. He's trying to control my leg, but he doesn't really have control over my leg. He has control over my leg. If I try to stand up, he can rip it back and create problems for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten out this leg between his leg. When they try to sweep, they come here and try to go over, but with this knee being bent, it creates a lot of resistance. So when he's controlling on that leg, if I straighten that leg out, it becomes very easy to roll over. It's almost difficult to stop myself from rolling over. So you have to get that leg out of the way for this sweep. So when he comes in and I control over top of that arm, the important thing is straightening that leg out. You can see that it takes his arm out of the equation. This is something much easier done here than it is when I see most people try to rip that hand off and control in here. Don't worry about that. Straighten out the leg, okay? So when I control and I straighten out the leg, you can see it's got his body primed to go over to the side. Now from here, I'm gonna fall to my shoulder and I'm going to lift with that leg. You're gonna see I actually lift with my legs a little bit differently and I turn my hips, okay? So I'm gonna come in here and now I'm gonna move that leg out and I'm gonna come up on top. It's important that leg that straightened out, I'm gonna move it back, turn to the balls of my feet, and you're gonna see me turn like this. It will give you the ability to hop and keep giving pressure. When most people's butterfly guards pressure ends, mine keeps going. Let's look at it again from that same angle, and then I'm gonna show you another angle so you can see the feet. So I've got good control. Man, he's got that, that pant grip. If I wanna control at the sleeve, it's okay to control there. I'm gonna straighten that leg, fall to my side, Move my foot, and I'm going to start moving up on top of my hip, all the way over into mount. I've controlled, and I've straightened. You can see this foot back here, right? Yes? Cool. Okay. From here, I'm going to move that foot. I'm going to come up on the balls of my feet, and I'm going to start to move up. Now, if Alan keeps resisting and turning into me, I can hop and come up all the way on top. It allows me to maintain good squeezing pressure with that knee on the hip. Control, nice and tight. Get that arm, straighten my leg. Watch that foot all the way out and all the way up. All the way over on top. Watch this leg. It straightens, turn, all the way up. All the way on top, squeezing with your knees. Don't be afraid to post on your head. Very different, very basic, but a different look, okay? Make sure to straighten out that leg. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about.